Hi folks, I'm Ryan from RS Racks Direct. I'm going to demonstrate a cargo box today. We've got Thule's Ascent 1700 here, mounted onto, or soon to be mounted onto, a pair of the Thule Professional truck racks. Cargo boxes these days typically can mount to all sorts of crossbars, which is a nice feature of these, uh, the clamping mechanisms. You're not limited to just Thule or Yakima bars. If you've got factory crossbars on your vehicle, or truck racks such as these, most likely you can mount a cargo box directly to those crossbars. First thing I'm going to show you is how the box opens and, and how it's locked. Now with two lead boxes, in order to open the box you actually need the key. Um, this box now is locked, so I'm going to unlock it and then the box can come open. Now it's not clamped down to these bars just yet, so it's a little unsteady, but once we get it clamped down it will be much more steady. Once it's open, uh, you can kind of see into it and you can see how the hardware works and you can see some other features such as this strap. If you've got it on the roof of your vehicle and you're not standing in the bed, this helps to sort of close it down securely. This series of cargo boxes from Thule called the Ascent uh, really is meant to deliver sort of a lot of performance at a mid-level price. The uh, material is ABS and it's UV and scratch resistant. Uh, the box is very light. And, you know, it's light so that it helps to improve your gas mileage. Now, when you've got these on your roof, obviously your gas mileage is going to be decreased a little bit. And taking them off is a good idea if you're not using your box. And that's why this quick mount hardware is such a nice feature. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. Now, this is the Ascent 1700. In the lineup, there's an 1100 cubic foot, a 1500, a 1600, and a 1700. Now, obviously, the cubic feet, overall cubic capacity gets bigger. But also the dimension of the box changes. So consider what you want to carry. If you want to carry skis, you need a box that is long enough to carry skis, and some are not. Uh, if you're just carrying luggage or just random gear, then you might not need a, as long a box. But look at the different dimensions across the board. They do change. Some of the boxes that have more capacity are actually shorter, but wider and taller. So really think about what you want to carry, what your priority is, and then choose the right box according to that. From that, once you sort of figure that out, then you can kind of look at the different features that these boxes offer. Uh, so, first of all, this box offers, again, this quick mount hardware, which I'll show you in a second. It has dual-sided opening, so the box can be opened from either side. Um, in order to do that, you have to have the box completely closed to open up the other side. And with Thule boxes, you can't take this key out unless the box is closed. And that's sort of a, a feature integrated into the design so that you're not so apt to take off with it not completely closed uh, or, or even worse, open. And some people have done that. So it's to sort of help remind you to close the box, make sure it is securely closed before you can take that key out. Now when you close it, make sure that these little plastic guide pieces here go into these little channels. Can actually, if you're not careful and you pull the box down, because it's pretty flexible, you can actually get these pieces on the outside and you shouldn't be able to lock it. So that should give you an indication that something isn't right. But make sure that you line those into place and you'll hear a solid click and you'll know that it's, it's secured properly. All right, now as far as how these mount, again, you can see that we've got this clamp design here and on top, We've got this knob, and these can slide forward and back, so you can position them where they need to be over the crossbar. That's a nice feature as well. You might not have to adjust the crossbars on the vehicle to fit the box. Rather, you can adjust the clamps to fit the crossbars. So basically, you just line it up over the crossbar with the clamp wide open. You drop it down on top, and then you spin until it's snug. And that is it. Obviously you're going to do that with the remaining three clamps. So that it, and once you've got that tightened down, this box is not going anywhere. When the box is closed and locked, there's no way to undo that clamp. So you're protecting your gear and at the same time you're protecting your box from being stolen. Um, so, again, Thule 1700 Ascent. There are different series. You can check those out on our uh, website and also check out different accessories that are available as well. So thanks for watching.